Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about Palantir Technologies' PLTR stock. We're going to be going over their future projections for their earnings report and how this could act as a catalyst to ignite the PLTR stock price. Then we're going to talk about how some analysts have actually upgraded their price targets for the PLTR stock, which is fantastic news for Palantir investors. From then on, we're going to talk about if the PLTR stock is very pricey right now despite the recent pullback, and if investors should end up buying this company and holding for the long term. So for more Palantir stock news videos, remember to go and smash that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment down below your thoughts about Palantir Technologies, and without further ado, let's jump right into today's stories. So Palantir Technologies, if you didn't know, is a big data and analytics company that serves both commercial clients as well as government enterprises by interpreting data so these organizations can make data-driven decisions. And I would say Palantir is a market leader in this space, and they also have fantastic artificial intelligence technology, and it was just recently announced that Palantir Technologies will be releasing their first quarter earnings results, which will extend from the beginning of the year until March 31st of 2022 on Monday, May 9th of 2022 before the market opens. If you don't have time to watch the earnings report before the market opens, you can always tune back into this channel after the earnings report because naturally I'm going to do a video on it and I will highlight all of the things that you need to know and I'll interpret the data to determine if it's positive or negative news. However, if you want to watch a replay of the broadcast yourself, you can always go to investors.palantir.com to watch a replay of the earnings call, and if you are a shareholder, you can actually participate and register at the link on screen, and if you are a shareholder of the PLTR stock, you can actually submit questions that management could answer during the earnings call. So overall, I'm very ecstatic about this upcoming earnings report. I think that we're going to get good news. However, let's determine what the metrics should be and what Palantir Technologies could be bringing in on their approaching earnings report. So let's start off with analysts' projections. Currently, nine analysts have estimates that Palantir is going to bring in around four cents per share for their EPS, with the low-end EPS coming in at 0.03 or three cents per share and the high estimate coming in at five cents per share. So to put this into perspective, a year ago they achieved an EPS of around 0.04 or 4 cents per share, so hopefully they can at least match that, but ideally we would want to see the 5 cents per share because it's going to show improvement from a year ago. We also have revenue estimates from 7 analysts that estimate that Palantir on average could bring in around $443.38 million, with the low-end analyst revenue estimate coming in at $442.8 million and the high-end analyst estimate coming in at $444.82 444.82 which is definitely going to beat a year ago's sales, even if the average consensus is correct, which would imply a sales growth rate year over year of around 33.5%, which is absolutely fantastic. So overall, we expect good news from this approaching earnings report, which hopefully can give investors some confidence back into the PLTR stock because it's been falling very dramatically lately. So on average, we want Palantir to beat an EPS of $0.04 cents per share. That is going to be a must, and we also want Palantir to achieve or exceed $443.38 million worth of revenue. So, when the earnings report actually comes out, I'll have a video to compare what Palantir's actuals and what they actually brought in in terms of EPS and revenues compared to these projections, and then from then on, we're going to speculate about what the PLTR stock price can do, so stay tuned for that, and if you haven't already, remember to subscribe. But now I want to focus on how the institution of RBC actually upgraded their PLTR PLTR stock price, which is absolutely phenomenal. Currently, the PLTR stock price trades for around $12.78, while the low-end analyst price target is $9 per share. The average price consensus among professionals is $15.35, while the high-end bullish stock price prediction for the company is $25.30, and analysts believe that the company could reach these price targets in 12 months. So these are clearly one-year analyst estimates. Out of these 11 analysts that have given us these price estimates that range from the low of $9 to the high of $25.30, two of these analysts say to buy the company, six of the analysts say to hold the company, while three analysts say to actually sell the company and that it's going to underperform the overall market. However, recently RBC has actually upgraded the price target for the PLTR stock, and the reason for this is actually due to Russia invading Ukraine and the future potential of governments doubling down on their government spending, which is really going to help Palantir and the PLTR stock. They upgraded their price target from $9, which was the low, and now they have upgraded it to $12 per share. 
So that is a substantial increase. The analyst goes on to say that we believe as the war drags on, clearly referring to the Russia and Ukraine war, governments around the world are increasing their defense spending, including against cyber attacks, and we expect Palantir to be a beneficiary of this trend. The analyst also added that this is going to be a short-term tailwind for the overall stock price, and I 100% agree with this analyst, and I think that the fact that RBC Capital, or at least one of their analysts, have increased their price target from $9 to $12 shows that slowly analysts are changing their opinions on the PLTR stock, which I actually predicted about two months ago that this would start to happen. This is one of the reasons why on Wednesday, the Palantir stock price or the PLTR stock price rose to around $13.05, which is fantastic news for investors. Palantir's management team is also likely to stop investing into SPAC companies or special purpose acquisition companies due to the amount of controversy that it has created amongst investors. Now, I personally didn't have a problem with their SPAC investments as long as these are very good SPACs that will be large cap companies in the future. But on the other hand, I am glad to see that they are going to stop investing into these SPAC and speculative companies, and they can now use this money for growing their overall company. Over the last couple of months, the PLTR stock price has fallen around 48% since RBC originally downgraded the stock down to $9, and now recently they have increased that back up to $12. So this could be a good time for investors to reevaluate their thoughts on Palantir Technologies, and that goes for whether you are bearish or bullish on the stock. However, there are still risks concerning the PLTR stock. For instance, the macroeconomic environment is not ideal for growth companies, and there are still concerns about the U.S. lowering our government spending, which is going to hurt Palantir Technologies. But in the short term, Palantir is likely going to benefit from the war and geopolitical tensions because literally Palantir performs very well in times of of war and geopolitical uncertainty. So overall, this is pretty good news for the PLTR stock price. But with that being said, I want to talk about how pricey the PLTR stock is, which is why I think that this company should be treated as a long-term play. And if you just want to make money in this company in the short term over the next one or two years, then this company is probably not for you. So let's dive into the data that really describes this bullish thesis about holding this company for the long term and how it's only good for long-term investors because right now the stock price is pretty pricey depending on how we value the company. Right now, Palantir is worth around $25 billion and their PLTR stock price is subject to major volatility over the next couple of years until the company becomes profitable. And we've talked about Palantir's profitability in the past. They are set to achieve profitability either in the year of 2024 or 2025. So that's something to look forward to if you are already a PLTR stock investor. However, if you are not a Palantir investor already, feel free to put this company on a watch list or wait until the company becomes profitable later in 2024 or the beginning of 2025 and then invest into the company that is going to be much safer than investing into the company right now. Their commercial business segment is substantially newer, almost three times newer than their government segment. However, in 2021, 58% of their overall revenues came from their government operations, while 42% of their revenue can be attributed to their commercial clients, which is absolutely fantastic, which is, again, I'm going to say this almost in every Palantir video, I believe the commercial clients are going to be the key for Palantir technology becoming a super mega cap company in the future, which will lead them to profitability. I believe that their commercial segment is much more lucrative than their government segment. Their government contracts are going to be used to give them stable, consistent revenue throughout times of uncertainty. However, their commercial revenue clearly has a larger addressable market, which is why I believe that their commercial revenues are going to be their dominant revenue source and their dominant revenue stream throughout the next couple of years. So now let's talk about Palantir's fundamentals and financials and why the author of this particular article thinks that the company is very pricey. And I actually would agree with this article that the PLTR stock price is pricey, but if you're planning to hold this company for the long term, such as 5 to 10 years, it's not going to be pricey. If anything, if you look back 10 years from now, you're going to wish that you bought Palantir at around 10 to $12. And we know this by looking at their financial metrics. For instance, back in 2019, the business generated revenues of around $742.6 million. And this increased to around $1.09 billion in 2020, before surging as high as $1.54 billion for the year of 2021. So 
clearly that revenues are climbing extremely rapidly, and management anticipates that the revenues will continuously increase by a 30% compounding annual growth rate from now until 2025, which would mean that the company is going to bring in around $2 billion worth of revenue in 2022 and $4.4 billion of revenue in 2025, which is extremely bullish. If we look on the PLTR stock chart right here, we can see their net income, which is in green, their operating cash flow in gray, their adjusted operating cash flow, their EBITDA, and their adjusted operating margin. Clearly, their margins are increasing, their EBITDA is increasing, and their adjusted operating cash flow, as well as their operating cash flow, have seen substantial increases, particularly their operating cash flow, which went from negative to positive, which is absolutely fantastic. So people should be very bullish and investors should say that Palantir Technologies is keeping all of their promises. I am very excited for their future operating cash flow because I personally use the DCF model or discounted free cash flow model to calculate my personal price targets for the PLTR stock, which depending on the assumptions that we make can range anywhere between $31 per share down to around $7 per share. But this clearly matters on our assumptions, which I have gone over in past videos. However, looking forward, we can see based on historical data that Palantir turned a negative $306.4 million in 2019 to a positive $425.9 million of cash flow. Another metric we should pay attention to is their earnings or EBITDA, which is earnings before interest tax depreciation and amortization, which has also followed a very positive trend, just like their operating cash flow, cash flows, and adjusted cash flows from operation. They had a negative EBITDA of around $298.8 million in 2019, which transformed into a positive $488.3 million last year. So clearly this company is extremely lucrative and they're continuously expanding. This means that management is keeping their promises to their investors and this kind of cash flow is very impressive, which is why I am very bullish on their overall business. But even with these fantastic financial results, Palantir Technologies is very pricey. They're trading at a price to operating cash flow of around 59.2 times, which is insane, and an EV over EBITDA of around 46.3 times. Basically, those metrics indicate that the PLTR stock price is very high right now. However, luckily, the author of this article compares Palantir to five other application software companies, which are directly comparable to Palantir Technologies, and as you can see, from this chart on screen, we can see Palantir Technologies is directly comparable to these other companies, which means that Palantir is not alone in their priciness. The priciness, so to speak, is spread out across a plethora of other companies, including one of my favorite companies, which would be Salesforce, ticker symbol CRM. This makes Palantir very competitive within their current market environment, and if we compare Palantir to other software companies, clearly the prices are definitely comparable. So although technically, from a technical standpoint, the PLTR stock is expensive to buy right now, but I would say that it is fairly priced compared to the other stocks on the market right now. And if management continues to grow the company's financials, the company is just going to get cheaper and cheaper relative to their current stock price. The financial author goes on to say that the Palantir stock price will be reasonably priced between 2024 and 2025, which just so happens to be when the company is going to achieve profitability. So for those of you who haven't invested into the PLTR stock, feel free to wait until 2024 or 2025, but if you're willing to hold the PLTR stock for the long term, feel free to at least nibble and invest into the stock now if you're willing to wait 5 to 10 years. However, on the other hand, if you're not willing to wait for the long term, then buying right now probably wouldn't be the best buying opportunity for you, but we have to remember that Palantir is fairly priced when we compare them to other stocks in their respected space. So in a nutshell, investors who are willing to hold for the long term can use this as a buying opportunity in the PLTR stock. If you're not invested in the PLTR stock, it's much safer to wait until the company becomes profitable and then to invest. For those of you who are already overexposed to the PLTR stock, please practice proper risk management and don't overexpose yourself to one single company. You need to leave room to average down your average cost in times of uncertainty for your high conviction plays, which means that you shouldn't overexpose yourself all at once to a single company because when the price goes down you're going to bleed a lot of money. I believe their management will reach the targets that they have set financially for the company and I am very excited for their upcoming earnings report. So for more Palantir stock videos remember to go and smash that like button right now, subscribe if you are new, comment your thoughts down below and I will see you in the next YT video.